We are going to Mars one day, and we know that even if the technology is ready, we'll be a no-go for launch because the human body and the human systems are not ready. We have Scott Kelly and his Russian counterpart, Mikhail Kornienko, who have been on board the space station for almost a year. They're getting ready to come back on March 1st. A one-way trip to Mars is at least six to eight months, so it's really important for us to understand how the human body adapts beyond six months. For Scott and Mikkel, they have become subjects for us to test what happens to the human body eight to 12 months while it's in space. Astronauts will come back and they weigh much less than when they went up. So we know that with the muscle atrophy and the bone density loss, they are losing one and a half percentage of bone a month, which is equivalent to what a postmenopausal woman loses in a year. We found that exercising every day, doing high resistive exercise, proper nutrition and some vitamin D supplements actually reverse the effects of bone density. So there's a lot we can learn so that we are successful in sending humans on a journey to Mars one day. We found very recently that their vision decreases as a result of fluid shifting towards the head in a non-gravitational environment. And then that swells some of the optic nerves, causing a decrease in vision. And so it's really important to understand what are some of the things we can do to counteract that. There's an investigation now that Scott and his counterpart, Mikael, is going through called Fluid Shifts, and that is using a pants we call the chibis, which sucks the fluid back down towards the legs. And we are hoping to find that that would counteract some of the vision impairment losses that they are seeing. They are subjected to radiation. Of course, the space station is not always shielded from radiation, so there are some radiation exposure um, effects. Their heart shrinks as a result of not being able to have the heart pump blood towards the feet because they're not walking, they're floating. And so Scott and Mikkel, during this one-year mission, is really our first adventure in finding out what happens and how we can counteract the human adaptations for a long journey to Mars.